Number 5. Starting our list on the Pico Interactive Collection 2, we have Full Throttle All American Racing. So you can choose between a bike or a jet ski, and uh, yeah, pretty awesome. So uh, you can either have this split screen or you can have it just standard screen. It'd probably be quite good on the Evercade VS. So there we go, here is the bike by split screen on demo mode. You do use the triggers to uh, do some kicking as well, kind of like Road Rash, so if you're a fan of Road Rash. You may like this, but the animation looks pretty awesome as well on the bikes when they turn around the corners and stuff like that. So, yeah, there you go. You saw some kicking from the opponent there, but yeah, pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you the jet ski mode because you just saw the bike mode there. So do you agree with what I've put on the list so far? There are plenty of football games on here, soccer games and racing games. This is more of a sporty collection. So there you go, you can do a combination of the two, whether it be bike or jet ski, or just choose a solo screen. So and you can either check the bike or the water bike. So we're going to show you in this part of the video the water bike, because you just saw the other bike. Choose either championship or weekend. And you can choose your rival as well if you so desire. Let's choose this guy. And here's your stage in Miami, Florida. Nice and sunny. Super Nintendo zoom in option. You can change the shape of your bike if you wish. Give it some nitros, but we'll just keep it all as it is for the purposes of this video. So it's made a start. There are 13 games on this collection. And there I am against the opponents. So yeah, the animation on the, the jet ski looks pretty awesome. And a fun game to play. So you pick up the money on the way and just get yourself in the position and then go through the gates. If you miss them, you just uh, lose cash or you gain cash for getting them. Oh, there we are. This is number five on the list. Full Throttle All-American Racing. Number four. Here we go, number four on the list. Soccer Kid. How awesome was it there to see Ocean on the Evercade? Many of you are actually calling out for an Ocean cartridge. So we have an Ocean game on here for you already. In the East End of London. Also known as Marco's Magic Football, I think, as well. Kick off. So there we go. It's a 16-bit platformer, and you've got your football there. You can do some skills on it as well, if you wish. Look at that. Oosh. Some little kid there on a the skateboard. Oh! Let's say kick it. Take him out. Oh! So yeah, Soccer Kid makes its way to number four on the list. Um, beautiful looking platformer and uh, fun to play. I haven't played it too much, but the reason being, I've spent most of the time on the other games on this cartridge. Maybe the games that are above this game but when I did go to this game I did quite enjoy it it was fun to play I played it when I went away for a little bit and uh, it kept me amused for all of five or ten minutes but that being said it's beaten the other games on the list so that is saying something so bear that in mind if you like platform games and you want to blend the fact that you've got an object to use against your disposal then by all means do that as well so kind of like decap attack where you use your, your head to take out some of the enemies and this time you've got a football. So do you agree with this list so far? Let us know in the comments and uh, take a look to see what we've got as our number three on the list. Number three. Number three on the list, a 32-bit game. So if you're a fan of Neo Geo style top-down racing games then you may like this one, Racing Fever. So many of you may have thought that I would have put this higher on the list, but uh, no, I haven't because there are some games on there that I thought are better than this. You can change the colour of the car and the actual car itself, so uh, even though it says press A, it's actually meaning press B. Here we go, crashed at the start. So yeah, look at this, pretty awesome. You have to kind of get used to the fact that when you press right, the car will then 
smooth yourself up going straight. So if you're a fan of those top-down racer games, you know what I'm talking about, like the great 100 miles rally or 1,000 mile rally, whatever it was. That is an awesome arcade game, but this is still fun to play, but it is quite limited. There isn't too much to do. There are some bits on it that uh, kind of puzzle me as well, like uh, you don't tell your rank until the lap finishes. So, uh, but that could be something like a rally cross thing, like you're not in that position until you cross the line in first. But a fun looking game, it looks impressive, it's a 32-bit game, there are two 32-bit games I think on this cartridge and one of which we will not be playing, so that's a little uh, spoiler for you there, that it doesn't appear on the top five, but it has appeared on one of my other videos, we spoke about it. So uh, yeah. If you can work that out, all good. But this is a good game, and it's made it to number three on the list. Number two. Here we go. I bet you all thought this was going to be number one. World Trophy Soccer. Also known as European Club Soccer. So a couple of the games on here have actually changed their names to what we all kind of remember. But uh, yeah, this is a fun game. Many years spent with my brothers playing European Club Soccer on the Sega Mega Drive. And uh, this game did feature on one of my previous videos about the Evercade football games and soccer games. So you can kind of check that out to see how good I am at this game. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad game. And it doesn't mean that because I'm no good at it, I don't like it. I absolutely love it because it's so funny. It looks great, it still reminds me of my youth because these are the sort of games I used to play growing up and that's why it's made it to number two. So here we go, so you get to choose the country that you're from. The same original music that I remember. So obviously I'm going to be England and I'm going to be against, let's choose who we're going to be against, how about we go against Denmark. Choose your formation, so they've gone for the 4-2-4 uh, the formation, so I'm going to go for the 4-4-2. Four, Even though England do look like Tottenham Hotspurs and the old Holston or the Hewlett Packard Kits versus what looks like Nottingham Forest or Arsenal or Liverpool. All the music stayed the same. The referee seems to manage to keep the football up in the sky. And here we go. Let's see, uh, for the purposes of this video, let's see how many goals I let in. But I'm looking forward to actually playing this again with my brothers when the Evercade VS comes out because this we took this game with us, or we took the Evercade with us for a family. Uh, family day and uh, oh the goal has gone in and this was the game that we played for a little bit of the journey until we decided that uh, we're not good at the game and we just prefer to play it on the VS when we can but uh, this is why this has made it to number two because we just can't wait to play it on the console again to bring back all those good memories so if you haven't done so already why not check out the video that I mentioned earlier, which is the football games on the Evercade, because uh, I talk about this game a little bit more, and I also show you how bad of the game I am. As you can see, I've not had a shot on goal yet. Oh! Wow, my first ever goal ever on this game on the Evercade, and I get it on video for all you guys to see. How awesome is that? Let's carry on trying then. Hold on. And we're going to finish it here. So right, what do you think has made it to number one on the list? There are plenty of football games, plenty of racing games on here. And I've chosen what I think are my top five games. Gold just goes in. And uh, we're going to find out right now and see what is number one. Number one. Making its way to number one. You wouldn't have thought anything else. It is Top Racer 2. So yeah, this is the Pico Interactive Collection 2. This is our top five games and this has reached it to number one on the list. So if you're a fan of games like Lotus and Lotus 2, then yeah, you may like this one as well. You can do lots of customizations on your car and buy different items when you get money. But yeah, look how awesome this is. So 
So if you're a fan of the Top Racer series or games like this, then on Pico Interactive Collection number one, there is Top Racer one. And this is now Top Racer two. Thankfully, the, um, there has been a firmware update that allows you not to have unlimited nitros for Top Racer one, so go check that one out if you haven't done so already. These games will be great on the VS because you can do split screen. And another reason why it's made it high on the list because I'm just thinking about future use and how much I would be playing this game. And yeah, this is one that I'm going to want to play through and uh, see how far I can get because I like racing games. And this cartridge alone has football and racing games. It has other games on there like American football, basketball and stuff like that. So it should keep many of you entertained for many hours. But uh, I would like to know in the comments of what you would have as your top five games. Would Top Racer 2 be top of your list? Or would it just be at the bottom or would not included? Yeah, please let us know. And if you'd want to do any sort of tag into your videos, your VS videos or anything like that at all, then yeah, by all means do so. It'd be great to be included to find out what you've ha had on your list. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, please click on that like button. If you haven't done so already, why not do what all the cool kids do on YouTube and click that subscribe button because 85% uh, of you guys that are watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel, which is uh, great that you are watching the videos, but why not think about subscribing because we have plenty of Evercade videos on our channel, a full playlist every single month as well. We do a live stream which has guests on there, so people that have just picked up an Evercade within the community, so there might be some faces of people that you're familiar with that have appeared on the show already, because we have had quite a lot of guests and uh, it's just a chance for you guys to actually talk to us about the Evercade as well. So ask any questions uh, if you've got any problems with it. Or if there's things that you want to see or even games that you want to see or just get involved. We do giveaways, we talk about what's going on in the Evercade world. So it would be great to have you come along board and share your opinions on it. So this has been the Pico Interactive Collection 2. This has been our top 5. I've been James from It's Much More. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next video. You take care of yourself. All the best. Bye bye.